All right, crew, uh, welcome back today. We are going to be talking about grit and, uh, and the idea of getting comfortable being uncomfortable. So the best place to start with this is to kind of define what is grit. The Webster Dictionary defines grit as uh, courage and resolve, strength of character. So how does this relate to getting comfortable being uncomfortable and, and, and how does it relate to us in the gym and outside of the gym with our results? Um, we want to take a step back and, and ask ourselves, why is it that as human beings, we are constantly in the pursuit of trying to be comfortable? What is it that makes us want to uh, avoid discomfort? Um, and the truth is that it's embedded in our DNA. Um, as human beings were evolving, uh, there was danger everywhere. There were possibilities of getting hurt, injured, or killed. Uh, and we could even uh, starve to death often. We were hunter-gatherers, so we were constantly trying to find safety, food, and shelter. So if we ever searched out and found a place that was safe, warm, and we were fed, then our bodies released hormones that told us we've done a good job. So now we are constantly in search of that same thing, even though we don't have all of those risks. We have air conditioning at home, our apartments are comfortable, we have beds, most of us have enough money for food and we don't have to worry about it. But the DNA is still in there telling us to, to search out comfort and to avoid discomfort. And so this is not necessarily good for us in today's day and age to always be comfortable. And the reason is that adaptation comes from placing new demands upon the body and mind. And we should be constantly trying to adapt. If we stayed comfortable, we'd never strive for success in our careers. We'd never change the, body, the way our body operates or looks. We'd never get married. We'd never have kids. Because all of those things require discomfort and for us to get out of our comfort zones. And they're challenging. And this relates in the gym because we should be constantly searching for those adaptations. We want to aspire to make improvements. And actually, we get a nice hormone response from that as well. If you've ever gotten a, a one rep max or you've done really well in a wor workout, um, your body releases these endorphins that make us feel good. But we had to get through that struggle first before our body does that. So this is why we don't want to avoid discomfort. In order to make real progress, we should be searching for discomfort. Whether it's weight loss or strength gains, looking better or feeling better, we want to constantly try to push our boundaries. So then why don't we do it? And the truth is it sucks. It's hard. It's hard when you're uncomfortable. It doesn't feel nice. But we need to make sure we don't confuse something that's difficult as meaning we shouldn't do it. If it's hard, it's probably worth doing, even more so. So we need to confront that fear, the fear that drives our actions too often, fear of struggling, fear of failing, fear of not looking good to, uh, in front of others. And instead, embrace it. And while we're feeling uncomfortable, understand that this is where real change occurs. So we're asking you at the gym and outside of it to show grit, to struggle through those times. Embrace the struggle of trying hard. Sometimes that'll mean failing. But that's how we really go and realize true satisfaction from completing something that we struggled hard for. All right, guys, I hope that helps. And, uh, and I'll see you in the gym showing your grit and embracing the discomfort.